White spaces or spaces, tabs, blank lines, they don't matter to the PHP interpreter. All that said, we should follow some guidelines that will mostly revolve around readability. The details of all of that are not super important when you're just learning, but I will be practicing those rules as we write our code. Let's take a look at how white space is handled, or rather, ignored, by PHP. White space in PHP doesn't matter to the interpreter. It ignores it completely. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of examples of this. Uh, as you can see here on line four, we have dollar sign name, a space, equals, and then another space, and then the string Hampton, no space, and then a semicolon. This is standard practice for formatting. This is how it should look. That said, I could remove all of those spaces, and it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. I'm going to show you an example of this by showing you an array. Now, an array is a data type you haven't seen yet, but you will see in the next stage. So don't really worry about what an array is, or how it works, or the formatting, so on and so forth. I just want to show you an example of where we care about white space for us for readability, and it's not going to matter to the interpreter. It's also going to show you how we can have multiple lines in one statement. So let's go ahead and scroll down in our code to our little section area here, and I'm going to remove our hello world. Now the next thing I'm going to do is open up a couple of pre-tags, and these pre-tags will help us uh, display our code a little bit nicer uh, when we start talking about uh, arrays and different types of data inside of PHP that's not necessarily printing easily in HTML. So now I'm going to open up a couple of PHP tags. So let's do this, PHP, go down here, and then close our PHP tags. Okay, great. So now we've got our PHP. I'm going to go ahead and paste in an array here and then explain it to you just briefly. So an array is a way for us to store multiple things into a single variable. So here we're storing an array or a gathering or a group of names, Chris, Mike, Amy, and Jane. Don't really worry about the data right now. Just know that names is a variable that contains multiple names. But the way that we write it here is very clean and easy to read with just the four names. You'll see names is equal to an array of Chris, Mike, Amy, and Jane with nice spacing in between. So what I'm going to do on this line is print underscore r. Okay, that's a built-in uh, PHP function for printing a human-readable uh, variable. So I'm going to pass names through, and then we're going to take a look at it in our preview. So go over to your preview button and click that. Okay, so you see here it's showing us array, Chris, Mike, Amy, Jane, with their index. Don't worry about the index. We're going to get into it later. What I want you to see is how it looks in the print R statement. Then I'm going to go and remove all of the spaces from the array. So let's switch back over to our code and remove all the space. So all of our white space going away. Okay, get rid of the one here, here, here. So now there's no spaces whatsoever inside of the names array. Now save it, switch back over, and hit refresh. Exactly the same. So PHP didn't care that we had no spaces, and it didn't matter that we had those couple of spaces. Now, why would we care about white space for us? Readability. So we'll go over here. We're going to tab these down to another line. I'm just going to make it so that it's very easy for us to read. one more, and then Jane. So as you can see here, I've actually gone in and added so much white space. Where you look at it, you can see clearly that each one of these lines is its own name, each followed up by a comma, except for the last one, which we don't really need. But the key here is not to worry about the formatting. Just know that it's very easy to read. And when we save it, switch back over and refresh, everything still looks the same. So this should give you a good example that PHP ignores white spaces completely. It doesn't matter if you have a bunch. It doesn't matter if you have none. It's just going to make it easy for you to read, and the interpreter is going to do the same thing every time.